So, hello, I'm Jan Einerli. I am a code base steward at the Foundation for Public Code. And after me, we're going to hear from my colleague Eric about what we do as well. But essentially, we're helping public organizations collaborate when they are developing uh, software. And when you do collaborations, uh, you're going to need end up with need of uh, governance. And unless you start out with a very clear vision, it might be hard to get everyone on the same page. People join the code base at various times. And when you start, you usually don't prioritize governance because it's just you and your team. So it usually becomes a priority after you really need it and when it is already in full uh, implementation. And if it also wasn't already clear, it is a very good chance that people have different views of what the status quo is. And if discussion, discussions are started uh, with different premises, misunderstandings are bound to happen. So how do you get agreement and a common understanding of code base? Yeah, so that's why we at the Foundation for Public Code created the governance game. And the governance game is a card game. And yes, if you can get that in a large uh, view there. So it's a game designed to get people talking about governance in, in a setup. And it, it includes different starting states, which have a variety of different actors. And the actors can be public organizations, civil servants, steering groups, and such. And to make it more real, we also added a few scenario cards, which uh, gives you, it, they are based on real situations to give you a little bit of a trick. And the purpose is to get a consensus of how the governance in this project should work. And it is a co-op game. So the only way to really lose is if you cannot agree at all. And to make it a little bit more tricky, we added a few calamities, things that might happen. You find a bug, or there are some other concerns and such. And when we designed this, we thought this is a great exercise to get used to talk about governance. Uh, but it's also a really good tool to actually evaluate your current code base. So you can remove the starting state. You can remove the scenario, because that's your real case. And instead, you will map out the, all the actors that is in your project and try to figure out what are the responsibilities between these and what are the relationship and dependencies. And even better, if you put a paper underneath and draw a little bit, that will be really good, because it's make it less abstract than just word on what the governance is. So you can really get into hands-on and see it how it actually is using, or how you're actually using your governance. And this might lead that you want to change your governance, or it might just lead that everybody has a clearer view of how it's really working. Now, we made this about this time last year and thought, hey, being hands-on is good. But then the pandemic happened, so we have developed a little bit of an online version where these are sort of digital tokens where you move around. It's not as intuitive as moving cards because people have a really good mental model of how to do that, but it, but it works and it unlocks another potential. It makes it possible to collaborate with all the people in your code base, even if they're scattered around the world. So perhaps you couldn't even travel, get everyone to travel to the same page place. So we hope you will try this out. It's on GitHub available. So, and it's free and open source. Uh, I'm posting the link right now in the chat. And try and use it and contribute back and improve on it if you like to. And uh, hopefully, you'll have a few laughs along the way as well.